Alrighty, I think we're gonna get started right about now. Uh, hopefully the game will be starting soon. Right now it looks like they have their lineups at least for uh, uh, Boston Frost. Uh, Why well, I guess we'll just go here. Uh, and it looks like I am gonna have to swap it even though I was viciously lied to and told that the hosting team would always be on the left. But you know, you can never trust Rodeo to have the correct information. So we have right now, and God help me if they flip the teams right before we start, because it's one button for them and like four buttons for me. Um, but we have Philadelphia Fright in blue and Boston Frost in red. Now, uh, I'm kind of a last minute summit caster, so I didn't have any time to do much research. I don't know these teams super well. Um, I do know some of the players, uh, vaguely. Mostly I, I know of Weedy, um, known him a little while. And I know, uh, Mushu, who I believe is Motion. I believe this is, this is motion here. Um, and yeah, looks like her. Diva, Mercy, Lucio. All right. Looks like we're checking out lineups. I'm just gonna pop in and my stream real quick. I know, uh, yes. Mushu, okay, so everything's good on the stream. Normally I have someone else here to help me check that, but right now, I've been abandoned. Well, I still have my cats here, but they're asleep, so I might as well have been abandoned. Well, I hope anyone who's watching, which I can see how many users there are, of which there are three of you, three dedicated users in chat. Um, I hope you're having a good day. I know it's been a stressful, anxious day, so hopefully we can have some fun and watch some good Overwatch um, and see what these teams are like, because honestly, I don't know anything about these teams. Maybe people in the chat do. Um, I literally know two people in this game. Although Sinister's name's familiar, and Hollander's name's also familiar, but I don't remember if he was familiar and that I heard of him in a good way or a bad way. Don't remember. Or her. They. Them. Yeah, so we are just waiting for a quick bathroom break, and then it looks like we're going to be readying up and heading into Ilios, which is our control map of the week. Um, and yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But this is a pretty fun map to start off on. You can do a lot of different, lots of different things on Ilios. Um, Pharmacy's pretty popular, Echo's pretty popular anything in the air. Usually a lot of divey comps has been kind of what I've been seeing lately from I'm casting. Oh, and it looks like we're about to start. I see R's. I see R's in the chat. Hmm. Oh, and I'm gonna hide chat because people are special in this league sometimes. Alright. It's just gonna be a surprise when we start, you know? You... And I will both be surprised when we start. We saw the R's. It's going to happen eventually. I don't remember how long they can wait after the prescribed time to start. I think it's a 15 minute grace period. But that could be something that has since changed. Because I know people were mad with the 15 minute grace period. Because people wouldn't show up on time. And some people have lives. And it looks like we are going to start on Ilios. Now arriving at Ilios. <sighs> And we're gonna be starting on Lighthouse. A very fun map. Um, again, very popular with the pharmacy, although it looks like we're not gonna get a pharmacy. Oh, well, we're waiting. We're waiting right now. Initiating None of this is real. Match. There we go. <laughs> so let's see what comps these two teams like to run. All I know about Weedy is that he has a really good Reaper. And he seems very attached to the character going by his Discord profile pic, and you know, all that stuff. Um, but I literally know nothing else about him. Or if he's good at any other characters, if he does any other things. Ready huh? for battle. Ooh, looks like we could be seeing a very traditional dive? 
coming out from the side of Philadelphia Fright uh, into a Rhine Zarya with a Soldier Reaper. Oh, never mind. It's not a traditional dive. We're going to have a Reaper on the side of Philadelphia Fright. And then it looks like a Rhine Zarya with a... Nope. Back to the Soldier. Reaper, Moira, Five, Lucio. Four, three. So let's one. see. We'll start. Round let's start with Weedy since we've objective. talked about him so much. Let's see how this dive goes. They are diving into a Reaper, which is never something you want to do as monkey. Okay, it looks like they're both on the left side. It looks like Philadelphia Fright's gonna circle around to point. They're just gonna get on point first, even though they are a dive team. That's an interesting choice. We're waiting for this engage from this dive team, but it looks like they're just gonna let them push into the engage. Happens on point as they're immediately kind of. Trying to burst down those stairs, so the weedy takes a shit ton of damage right from the get-go. Uh, JJ who? <laughs> Sorry if I miss up your name. Gets the first pick, but then it's immediately Orcus who's gonna get two following picks on the Philadelphia Fright. He picks onto the Reaper in one of their supports, as they do. It's a great boom from Omni, a double kill really opened this up, but the Reaper is so low, and I think Philadelphia Fright's about to take and clean up this point as Weedy chases after the remaining stragglers from Boston Frost. What a good start for Philadelphia Fright. An awesome work from Omni. I think you got three boops total in that fight? Excellent. Exactly what you want to see from Lucio. And now we have two support alts on the side of Philadelphia Fright, and no alts on the side of... Well, the work is supposed to work. Oh, look, we have a Reaper, Reaper, Reaper in the back line, but Sinister's gonna back off. Although they do know he's there. Tag and we have this visor. Oh, it's like Orcus gets a good pick off the tracer, and it looks like oh, the Reaper's been spotted. Reaper says Orcus killed both their DPS, and now it's just a slow grind on for the point for Boston Cross. And Orcus just cleans up by following up on the shatter from a uh, Robo Monkey, and now it's just a lone Omni on point. He's gonna get cleaned up by the coalescence from Brandon Knight. Or Brandon? Brandon? Yes. We got a double kill in there. Nice, nice. So, right now we still have those two support ults from Philadelphia Fright. No one pressed Q or on their side, but Boston did use two Qs, but has three coming up. And they've also already spotted the Reaper up on the high ground, and it looks like Aravizo? Nope, that's not Aravizo. Aravizo? Peek Sinister out. I guess we can go back to Mana Boost is gonna go on to the Primal and Monkey. Sticky comes out, doesn't kill anyone on the high ground from the Tracer. And this is gonna kinda get into a sticky fight from the looks of it. Get an aerial view. As right now, Boston Frost are up too, especially with the res evening up their odds, and it looks like they're just gonna clean up. As Philadelphia Fright unfortunately doesn't get anything despite the two ults they sunk into trying to get the engage going. They still have a beat, they still have a debuff, and they're coming up on a death boss. So Philadelphia Fright definitely has the resources to try and make something happen here, although they're pushing into four ults. Valk, Grav, Sights, Death Blossom. It's gonna be a hard push, and maybe even better to just not use anything and see if they can try and equalize here. As we do get a good sleep onto the Reinhardt as they push through this tiny group, and engaging with the Diva Bomb into their team with the Reinhardt out of the way. It's gonna get two. Tracy's gonna follow up immediately with another pick as the Reinhardt charges the Diva onto point, tries to take the fight where he wants it, avoids the Sights that's coming out from Orcus as well as a good res. The Valk Sinister comes out, is going to get Orcus clean up, but there's another Death Blossom on point that's better from Arviso. Gets two. And right now it's just a full on brawl on point as it looks like Boston Frost is slowly gonna just kind of clean this up. Coalesce is coming out to help end the fight and grab for good time as they reach 99 and are ready to end this. But there's still a Reaper on point. Tracer comes out. Good job not killing your team there, Robo Monkey. And I think that's it with. Good hold from Boston Frost. Nice ultimate use there. Get score zero to one. Hey Deadstock. Welcome welcome to the chat. Ready or battle. And Dab Master. Is Dab Master on Florida? No wait. Florida Man Saturday. I don't think we have a game on Saturday. Sunday, so... Oh, I'm assuming you're talking about the 1v1 on Saturday. I don't know who's casting that. I know the call went out, but I 
I already agreed to cast two games this week, so I'm not going to cast the 1v1. I do need to take a break every now and Five, again. Alright, one segment two, over with, on to the next. One, Let's see if we can see two, any changes capture, as no Philadelphia victory. Fright swaps up their comp a bit going to the Rhine Zarya with the Doomfist. And right now we have a ball coming out from uh, Boston Frost. I keep wanting to say blue is Boston Frost because I'm thinking ice is blue and they're technically supposed to be blue from the sheet. I don't really care about those things. I'm not Odd House. It's just, if anything, it's the fact that they're Frost. Nice pick from Mushu. It's the fact that they're supposed to be icy and I'm like, ice is blue. But you know, that's just how my brain works. Because <laughs> our beast and Robo Monkey get two picks. Mars gets a nice follow up, but. Mars goes down to Orcus in the back, trying to get some sneaky picks on the back line that he just didn't allow. And this Wrecking Ball is just going through and being a menace, which is honestly all a Wrecking Ball needs to do. As I strongly suspect Boston Frost will take the first cap on this point, but I could be surprised. Lucio goes down, and now, yeah, first cap goes to Boston Frost. And looks like Kabuki's doing decent. This record ball is very close to an all and has already spotted the tracer who said hi from the bushes on the high ground. And as Philadelphia Fright just push onto this point, they're pushing into mines. We'll see when Kabuki decides it's the best moment to use them. But it, JJ Hoops already go down and so Robo Monkey's gonna start with a primal to try and just remove any push. The belt comes out to secure the fight. As Honestly, Philadelphia Fright struggles to get a coherent push together. Got booped around a bit, a little all over. It looks like they're trying to go left through this little choke. They're gonna get engaged by the monkey. Their Reinhardt is back. Death Blossom goes off in the back. It is gonna get Mushu, and then Robo Monkey is gonna get a pick off of Sinister. It looks like he had gone into the back. And we have Coalescence coming out from Brandon to just clean up and secure with McLoppy on Mercy. Apologies again if the name is wrong, getting a pick themselves. Again, good defense from Boston Frost. They just seem to be a little more confident in playing together. A little less willing to get split and a little easy, a little more confident about defending the back line. Orcus is doing some good work here on the soldier in the back, just hanging out. Alright, and we have another push. Shatter comes out. It's good, it gets two. Coalesces to follow it up. Mines immediately come out to counter. Also the death boss, which immediately clears the mines, makes that wrecking ball useless. As it looks like Philadelphia Freight is going to use a couple ults to clean up this point and flip it for the first time in this segment. Oh, well, they must have flipped it previously because they're on island 70%, and I just missed it. Alright. Well, they still have a Graph Pulse Bomb, so that combo is still in the works, and Weedy clearly wants to do it, pushing up to see what he can get, but is he going to get kicked early? No, his supports have got him. They have a soldier shooting into their back. What are you going to do? It's clear that this man wants to grab. He's telegraphing it so hard. Waiting for this Pulse Bomb. You can hear that the Tracer wants it, too. They're just trying not to die, but they press Q too late. Grab comes out, and it goes in there. Is the Pulse Bomb going to be there? Pulse Bomb is there, and it gets three. Nice. Good job, Mars. As we also get a primal from the side of Robo Monkey, but it's too little too late. And another Valk for McLoffy. It's just the Reaper on point. Oh no, Wrecking Ball. I thought it was the Reaper. It was their Reaper Wraith that I heard. This Wrecking Ball is just gonna do his best to roll on out of here. Really hard to kill those balls. Alright, they've swapped over to a McCree here. Moving away from the soldier onto a hog to immediate value as they get the off onto Weedy. And they can push in here already down a tank. As the Roadhog's just gonna be pouring damage into these tanks, especially with followed up by the Reaper. We have coalescence coming up from both sides. As Boston Frost pushes through this tiny room, stun comes out onto the tanks. Another pulse bomb. And then a death blossom on dueling death blossom on points, but one of them gets hooked from the looks of it. Or no, hooked, but then uh, killed by the death blossom, and Orcus is gonna kill the tracer. Looks like, in overtime, Boston Frost yeah, is going to flip the yeah. point back. Although this looks considerably closer, I think perhaps we can get a shatter out through this. They gotta get the point quick, they're about to hit that overtime. Someone's gotta touch, it can't be this Reinhardt. Mines comes out, they have a Lucio on point. High Newt's coming out behind, shield, shield, shield. 
99, guys. Oh, this Reinhardt's so low. Meat comes out to save the Reinhardt. It's just the Wrecking Ball on point right now. They get the flip! Reinhardt goes out, doesn't get anything with the Shatter. But Pulse Bomb does come out. Third Pulse Bomb of the second. Good job, Mars. Score. One to one. All right, so we get to see Ready well on Ilios. Um, I'm sure Omni's happy. He already proved himself, or they already proved themselves. They're very good and capable Lucio on Lighthouse, and everyone knows this is Lucio's favorite map with the beautiful pit in the center. You know, where we all belong, truly. All right, looks like we're going to see... Five. Ball and chain coming out from Boston Frost two, with the Tracer. One. Oops, Tracer Soldier. Three. Never mind, Sombra. Sombra coming out from the side of Boston Frost. Meanwhile, we have a Winston Ball Tracer Doomfist on the side. So they're going to be coming out here a little faster and they're going to meet on point. This Aris is already on point with her shield. But we have the Winston just peeking, doing some little little tickles as the Wrecking Ball goes down from the Sombra. Probably got hacked in the back. Doomfist is in and Doomfist is out. Gets one pick onto our Visa, although it's a good pick. Right now, both teams are even with Weedy swapping over to the Diva. And Omni's hacked. Let's see if they can follow up on these hacks. Nope, Omni lives through it. Mars gets a pick on Robo Monkey in the back as Omni's just looking for the boop here. But Arisa is intolerant to that. Arisa is going to take down the Tracer. But it looks like uh, Philadelphia Fright is going to claim the first point. But immediately, Boston Frost is back with a vengeance and gets three picks off. Boston Frost is it's just this Lucio stalling point. He gets hacked. Poor little music man. Taken down in his prime. Weedy's onto the D.Va now instead of the ball. Could be that the ball wasn't working for them. We do have an EMP coming up. Can I press the right button? I can! Let's see what this Sombra does. Hack onto the Diva. Diva max low. EMP's out. Mars gets a pick on the Arisa with the Pulse Bomb. Sinister's gonna follow it up with a pick onto the Reaper. And we have an EMP to play for here. But it's just too little too late. Yeah, it, it looks like even though the hacks have gone off and they've had EMP to play for in their pocket, as well as a Coalescence, that uh, Boston Frost is gonna see the point to Philadelphia Fright. They just had a really good engage by Mars. Who's done some great work on this tracer? Followed up with some good picks from Sinister. Alright. Let's see. They're definitely gonna want to use the CMP. You can already see the Sombra getting into position. EMP's good, it gets pretty much all the team. Coalesces to follow it up as they just clean up nice pull into the pit. Coalesces comes out. Oh, no, 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 sides. Just the front. And immediate flip back by Boston Frost. Good patience, perhaps, to wait to use the EMP until they have the full engage. Hog's gonna go and make some damage out front. Let's follow Robo Monkey around. He has this whole hog to play for, although they do have Pulse Pump again, and Mars is a pretty good pick this one. Whole hog immediately went to the team against Team Mac just to push the team down. Pulse Pump does come out and then is gonna clean up the Roadhog. Can't heal, unfortunately, in that mode. Death Boss is gonna come out to counter and immediately gonna get three, four picks as Arviso just cleans up the team, and the skill orb takes down Omni in the back. Oof. Good hold again from Boston Frost. Again, I think they're just playing together a little bit more than uh, Philadelphia Fright is. Although we do have Diva Bomb, we have Beat, and we're coming up on high noon, so let's see if Girl, Philadelphia Fright can make anything happen. Coalesce is coming up from Mushu, is immediately countered by that. That is an unfortunate Diva Bomb. Unlucky, Weedy. Puck immediately goes on to Sinister, he gets kills, Mars cleans up the bongo. Uh, Primal comes out, just trying to get anything in this tight corner. Hook finally kills him. Weedy does get Arviso, so that's one down on the side of Boston Frost. Hook goes on. Or no, not Hook. Hack goes on to Omni. Coalescence comes out from Brandon to clean up. It's gonna get Weedy in there just chasing this tracer down as the overtime meter ticks down. Wrecking Ball's back on point. Immediately hacks. EMP, I think, just for fun. And a little bit of BM. 
as Boston Frost Victory. plays the first map. You want Fright to win, Deb? Your friend's a sinister. Well, I mean, I think they're totally capable of it. They have some good players. Omni, and I think this is the play I was talking about, Omni got a lot of really good environmental kills in the very beginning. They have Weedy, who's a good player. They have Motion, who's a solid support. Like, they have the pieces. I really think they're just kind of struggling on the end gauge and, like, just went to press Q, and they're a little bit... They're easily flustered. But yeah, uh, first map goes to Boston Frost. And honestly, like, I was looking because I was trying to figure out because I got very little information about this cast I was supposed to. I was trying to figure out who the people on these teams are. So I was looking at the roster sheet and I was looking at the score list. And honestly, it's been a very boring uh, season. It's a lot of 3-0s and that's not entertaining at all. Like, I don't think there hasn't... Oh, never mind. There was one game in the first week... Dallas Doorknobs versus Philadelphia Fright that went 3-2. But everything else has been a 3-0. And that's really boring. <laughs> you want both teams to win Deadstock? <sighs> that's a very dad answer. Everyone's a winner in my eyes. Alright, let's see what Philadelphia pick for their 2CP map. So... They clearly have a pretty good tracer in Mars. Sinister seems to favor the hit scans. Oh, looks like they're going to pick Anubis. Not a bad tracer map. Maybe they're going to want to run a Widow, even though she's been nerfed. Um, who knows? Again, I don't know these two teams very well. Again, new teams in a short season. We're just going to say, you're lying, Deadstock. You don't want both teams to win. That's fair. Who do we want to win? Who do we think deserves the win more? Honestly, I don't know these people, so it's hard to say. Hard to say. Although I will say they've already lost the real game and that none of them have coordinated their icons except for like three people on Boston Heart. See, this is why they took the first map is it's these three people who got together and were like, you know what, guys? Same icon. Look at this mess over here. What is that? Is that a Florida Mayhem icon? <laughs> Not even on Florida, although maybe they were last season. But just, yes, such a disappointment. Honestly, you can pick whatever icon you want now since we're not the Mowl teams, but it should, like... I talked about this earlier in the cast with Red. I think it should be a coordinated effort that you should pick an icon to represent your synergy it's just a good pre-team we're all on the same page we're all communicating and we're ready to go anything nope they're just waiting we're gonna hide chat again because people can be special this lobby's an eyesore, it absolutely is. At least, like, color coordinate. Like, maybe you can't all agree on uh, icons. So, but maybe you're, you're just like, like, what if we all picked an icon that has a blue background? Like, that could be nice. Like, you have some Anna variants. Vodka, if that's your thing. A Greek helmet some May icons, the Sombra icon. Like, you have some wiggle room here, and it's still very pleasing to have this whole kind of coordinated... Oh, Motion's a sub. I see that. I mean, that could be also the lack of coordination. Is they're not a full team. Maybe they haven't had time to get together, which is unfortunate, although Motion's a pretty good sub to pick up if you had to pick a sub. Yeah. Or you could do all Olympic icons, just like everyone chooses a different character for the Olympic... I don't know. What would be your favorite Olympic sport? I don't know. Badminton? I've played badminton like twice in my life in gym and it wasn't so bad. Definitely wouldn't be biking. Definitely wouldn't be boxing. Definitely wouldn't be BMX. Wouldn't be ping pong. Wouldn't be diving. Wouldn't be gymnastics. I'm not coordinated enough. Wouldn't be fencing. That sounds like a great way to lose an eye. Wouldn't be the pole vault. Wouldn't be running. Certainly not horse riding. I don't trust horses. 
I could play tennis. I did play tennis for several years. Not a high jump. Again, another excuse to lose an eye. Another excuse to lose an eye. Bowling, I can physically do. Not well, but I can do it. Taekwondo, that's not happening. Weightlifting, also not happening. Uh, golf, I mean, if old people can do it, I feel like I could do it. Like, okay, you want to know a fact about Rodeo is that he's actually fucking really good at golf. And it's real fucking annoying. Because every time we go and, like, hang out or, like, meet up for family vacations and stuff, he wants to go golfing just so he can kick all of our asses. And, like, look like an old white dude or some rich kid. It's very pretentious and annoying. Uh, hammer throw also seems terrible. Water polo also seems terrible. Javelin also seems terrible. Now, rhythmic gymnastics is just fancy dancing. I think I could do that. Uh, football's a no. Shooting's a no. Wrestling's a no. Volleyball, I did play volleyball for a couple of years. I could do volleyball. Shot put's not happening, and basketball is absolutely not happening. So, you know, that leaves me with, like, three options. Eh, I guess we'll do volleyball. I played volleyball for several years in high school and middle school or junior high whatever you call it hmm. all right it looks like we're still waiting to get into temple of anubis rodeo is pretentious <laughs> What did he write? Um, it's Nightbot, so it's, I think it's, uh, Dab, I think it's just, like, if you do anything that's all caps within 10, um, I can go and edit it, but I honestly don't care enough to do it. Like, you can just type in lowercase like a normal human being. Um, and yeah, Nightbot just kills it on site, doesn't ask questions. It's not that smart. All right. I'm assuming someone had to go. Wait one sec. I believe it's been one sec. Oh, there we go. See, you just have to get passive aggressive now, with them. Entering the temple and of then Anubis. they hear you through the ether. All right, Temple of Anubis. Let's go to Egypt, kids. I'm sure it's warmer there than it currently is in my place of residence. All right. Initiating match. Looks like, if I'd have to guess, Kabuki's on Reinhardt? And Robo Monkey's on Ball. I think. And JJ Hoop's on Winston. Or at least hovering over it. They may change now that the actual thing is coming in. Oh, Ready Diva. And JJ Hoop is swapping to Reinhardt. Diva Sigma. I don't know if that's real. Um, meanwhile, we have a very standard Ryan Zarya defense coming out from Boston Frost with a Hanzo Junkrat and a Anna Moira. So lots of healing. Lots and lots of healing. And it looks like Orcus may decide to go for the Widow here from the Soldier with Arviso. Going on to the soldier. Up, oh, and then we have the Lucio. Well, let's see how Robo Monkey does. Pushing through this tiny chest, gonna take a fire strike immediately. Just gonna give JJ some charge as they try and push into this tiny room on the left. Shield is going down, although barrier is down. As we enter what is sure to be a Flat fight in this tiny room with the mega health pack. As the entire team of Philadelphia Frightens kind of come in here, they've been sonic. They know where they are. We have a Hanzo shooting from the top window. A nice advantageous spot is that shield is already low, taking so many Hanzo arrows. As both teams just kind of posture, but there is a Sombra in the back. Tries to get a hack off and doesn't quite get it. Perhaps they're just waiting for this hack to go. Because we just kind of stare at each other through this doorway. Having some long eye contact. 
until Coalescence comes out from both sides and the teams finally decide to push good hack on the Reinhardt. Can they engage on that? No, <laughs> actually it's gonna be uh, the other team that's gonna clean up with Sinister opening up followed by Mars, Omni, and Weedy all getting kills so they just clean up the team after that long protracted slap fight in the doorway where Philadelphia Fright and Boston Frost just had some moments together, I guess. I think these teams just want to be friends, and they don't actually want to fight, and that's the issue. Alright, we're having Orcus swap to the Bidomeka. That's Ariso. Orcus, let's see if they can get any picks. Sinister's already going to get a pick on Ariso, that's unfortunate, as Mars does go down to the body shot queen, immediately followed by a headshot onto Omni. Very nice, his motion's going to fade out of there. And JJ Hoops is going to take a couple of bullets in the back, because we have a tire going in into this tiny room, Ooh, and it looks like Brandon faded right out of that tire, that was nice, immediately grab comes out from both sides, but there is a sight on the side of our Visa, followed by a dragon that's just a little too late, the meat comes out from the side of Boston Frost to save them and help secure this first point, as McLaughy gets the kill on Omni, proving the Lucio battle is his to win, and Mars is just gonna run away, not without exchanging a few arrows with the Widow. Still finally going down to several shots. All right, and we have some swaps coming on the side of Philadelphia Fright with Mars swapping to the Widow and then Sinister also swapping to the May. Let's see what these teams can get. Again, engaging in a playful slap fight between the Reinhardts. Wall comes out, isolates the Reinhardt. Can they get this pick on the Reinhardt? Lucio's come over the wall and come through, but it's not fast enough to save the Reinhardt, as they have to back out now because they're down their main tank. Sinister gets pins that fight. Nice job. We have two support alts on the side of Philadelphia Fright again. The fact that Philadelphia Fright is blue, my head keeps thinking ice should be blue, that's not how this works. Boston Frost is the red team, not the blue team. Coalescence up on both sides, Sights is up on the red team side. But Mars has spotted them going this right hallway. Sights comes up for the side of Boston Frost, Coalescence comes out from the side of Philadelphia Fright, and it looks like they're just going to be smart and wait it out around the corner. Shatter comes out and it gets three people in the back as Weedy and Mars followed up. Shatter's immediately countered, but the beat is out on the side of uh, Boston. Philadelphia Fright, my goodness. Sights comes out from Boston Frost and it is just multiple picks on both sides, but I think this is at this point going to be a defender favored fight. With JJ Hoops just slided into this tiny room to finish off the Zarya and the supports. Will the Zarya get out? Nope. That's a pretty good stagger. Let's see, Weedy has almost a grab, tied with Kabuki but for ult charge is Orcus, just says no Mars. I'm the Widowmaker here. Although, defending Widow will have an advantage. They will get back to the fight in record time, given that 2 CP, the defender spawn, is right there. As we're building this grab, the Widow is on the left side. Marcus is gonna get Mars again, and that hurts a little more because it is right during the fight. As we have this Widow just setting up this crossfire, pushing this team into the back right corner. But they have grab almost. JJ Hoops is getting low, is gonna go down. Grab is gonna come out from Weedy, and they're gonna try and follow it up. Do they have any damage to follow it up? I think they're just gonna shake off the grab as they're getting shot into the back by this Widow. Set up from behind and is finally gonna take down Mars. And right now, we have just. A cleanup from Boston Cross. Even though a Blizzard does get chucked on point, I really think it only gets Reinhardt as it's just kind of a stall tactic. As Sinister does try to take down the Reinhardt, but Kabuki is going to take down Sinister. We have a Tracer coming out from Mars, definitely one of the characters that they've seen some pretty good playtime on before. They are going to dash off the point. As the stall comes out in full forces, we see the Wrecking Ball, Lucio, Moira, come onto point and chase off the three remaining players from Boston Frost. Well, they're definitely a good push by them. They got two ticks out of that. And they still have, are coming up on Grab Dragons and they have a Shatter and a uh, Beat in their back pocket. And right now they just have a Shatter and a Coalescence on the side of Philadelphia Fright. Dragons is ready with that headshot and they're gonna go for it. Dragon consumes you, there we go. 
Coalescence coming up from both sides. Shatter comes out, ends the Coalescence. As Queenie's trying to live, he's so high charged although, but it looks like he is gonna go down to Kabuki. And right now it's just a Tracer that's getting cleaned up by the whole team. Lucy's gonna try and touch, but doesn't quite make it. Nice attack from Boston Frost. Score zero to two. Switching sides. All right, let's see. Reed is casting. Hi, Poi. I do casting now. Initiating apparently, match. this is a thing I do now. Um, I don't know why really, but yeah, it's a thing. Let's go, Philly from Lyske. Lyske. Lyseke? I don't know. I'm terrible with words in general, um, but these names... Oh boy, it's a challenge. Um, but yeah, lots of hope for Philly here. Hopefully they can turn this map around. They have Ready a defense, and it looks like they're going to go on to double shield for defense with a Widow Junkrat. Oh, never mind, that's going to be... Nope, that is going to be Boston Frost on the defense. And it is going to be Philadelphia Freight on the attack. Attackers incoming. <laughs> he got suckered into casting. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's kind of fun. It's it's really fun when you have someone here to like riff off of, and essentially I just get to make fun of someone for two hours straight, or with how these games have been going because we've had a lot of three O's for an hour straight. Um, but there's no one here to make fun of except myself. Which honestly has been material. I'm out of material. It's been 18. 18. Holy shit. <laughs> it's been 25 years already. All the jokes have done dried up. Alright, let's see what this Rhine Zarya can get from Boston Cross. They spot the trap immediately. It's destroyed. Let's actually see what Mars. Oh, Mars is making some decisions. Although Orcus, while I clicked away, is immediately going to get. Oh, I can't find Orcus. Is going to get a very nice set of three picks. Immediately once I click away, of course. No, dead stock. You don't have to come help me. Just what they need. I just whine because that's my default mode. I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I couldn't whine. But you are welcome if you want to. Let's see if Orcus can do another glorious three picks. And this time, I promise, we're all watching. Let's see what you can do. As the team is going to slip inside to that tiny room under the Reinhardt shield, or he's going to reposition to try and pick them through this mega room. Watch your step. Spotted the Hanzo coming on the left side, repositions the Venomine in anticipation of the Visita. But it looks like Hanzo isn't really interested in the Widow, but the Widow is interested in him. Mushu gets the skill or kill onto Arviso as the Sombra is spotted by the Venomine. It looks like this double shield is actually working out really well, and we're just gonna make poor Sinister suffer, aren't we? That was almost a good shot on the Sombra. That is a good shot on the Sombra. Booped up and served up on a platter. We do need healing, as it looks like Wafi is playing some pretty good stuff on this Mercy as Omni gets picked, Coalescence gets the Reinhardt, Robo Monkey gets picked, and it looks like Boston Frost is going to clean this up. They have Sights, they have Bongo, they have Lift, they're coming up on Valk. Oh, even though Weedy does get Brandon. A little parting gift from Philadelphia Freight is Weedy does get out. Oop, but dinked. Let's go to Robomonkey. That's not Robomonkey, Robomonkey. As Sights come out from Orcus, see what's up. We have a shadow, we have a coalescence, we have a beat on the side of Philadelphia Freight. They're gonna push through on this low ground. His lift is gonna come out. It looks like it's gonna get a good lift. It's gonna hit most of the team. Beat's gonna come out, but it's not gonna get everyone because they were cut off. Half the team in that room, half the team not in that room. Good rocks gonna stun half the team. As they're already down one, but they're desperately pushing onto this high ground, trying to get away from the widow. And coalescence comes out. Orcus does get a kill onto the Reinhardt. Omni does get a kill onto Aviso. So coalescence just kind of forces. Boston Frost to play outside of their line of sight. And they're also getting shot in the back from the Hanzo, and I shield for the Sigma is going to cut off his place, but that shield is going to break. It's a lot weaker than it used to be, as we kind of have three members of Philadelphia Fright stuck in this tiny room. The Arisa is low, because Robomonkey's doing a good job, a job oh, of shield dancing and trying to keep all his team alive and keep all of his angles covered, as we're just picking and the Sombra is teasing them. 
finally looks like Philadelphia Fright is going to make it up onto this high ground as it looks like Arviso is going to go try and get them kicked off. He has a rip tire. Oh, grab comes out, followed by the dragon. Doesn't get anything. Coalescence is there to protect them. And McLaughlin is going to get the kill on Mushu with Orcus getting two and Brandon cleaning up with the Coalescence. I think the dragons was slightly mispositioned or mistimed there. I didn't quite see it all, but not quite what you want it to be. Hi, Cat. Pons has joined us for the cast. Wanna say hi? No? Okay. Alright, 10 seconds remaining. Can Philadelphia Fright touch this point? I don't know that they can. Tire's coming out. It's gonna kill this Reinhardt. Yeah. And they don't get the touch. And Boston Frost collects a second map with excellent play, excellent sniping from Orcus, really good Sigma play, which I honestly haven't seen in a while, from play Robo Monkey, um, and pretty consistent, good Mercy play from McLaughlin. No like, on general good supports, like Brandon sight. has been pretty on point with his more, their more, I'm gonna assume him, because it's Brandon in the name, but that could just be Brandon for who knows what, it could be a last name, uh, but their more play's been there. So there's the double kill I missed in the beginning. Yeah, 55. That's pretty good! And Mushu carrying with three gold medals. Alright, I will update the score. Two. And it is just one point more, and Boston Frost will take this series. Now, again, I think if anything, the thing that's killing Philadelphia is that they're really hesitating. Like, Boston Frost is just a smidge bit quicker on pressing Q, making plans, and engaging. And I don't know if that's they've practiced more, they know what they want to do, or they just have really good comms. But it's clear that Philadelphia is hesitating a lot, and it's kind of getting them screwed over. But we're going to go to Scrim's Row, the favorite map of the Overwatch community. We'll see. I would expect Ryan Zarya's from both teams on this map because Reinhardt's super strong on this map. I heard that um, watching Killfeeder's cast yesterday, and because Killfeeder said it, I'm assuming it's correct because my experience in this video game is pretty limited these days. I really only play for Mal. Um, let's see. Can we just wait? For the teams to decide. Do you understand what's happening, Cat? What do you think? What do you think's happening right now? You think I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself? That's also true. Hundred percent true. Oof. God, your breath. Holy crap. If I didn't know exactly what I fed you, I would wonder what you ate. You're so lucky. You're cute. My god. I'm gonna have to start brushing your teeth, aren't I? I know I'm technically supposed to brush your teeth, even though I think you would hate it immensely, but I don't know that those dental treats actually clean your teeth as much as they say you do. They do. The treats. An anime saint is sniped out of the chat by Nightbot once again. <laughs> Uh, just stop doing stuff in caps, dude. Nightbot doesn't like it, and Nightbot rules. Nightbot's the only moderator I can get to consistently show up, so it's his rules. Oh, it looks like actually we're going to Dorado instead. Is it because it's Escort and King's Row is hybrid? Yes, it is supposed to be an Escort map, not a hybrid map, so that was probably a mistake, and they're going to go to Dorado instead of King's Row. <laughs> oh, yeah, it seems people are having fun testing the limits of Nightbot. <laughs> Careful, Nightbot has full official powers, and honestly, it is a robot, so it may just kill you for no damn reason. Alright. It 100%. Nightbot took you out, Anime say. <laughs> it literally saw you pop up in the chat twice and was just like, nah. 
had enough of your bullshit, didn't even know you asked your name, it saw your fucking anime weeb ass name, and it was like, nope, we're good. Yeah. Alright, as it looks like, I don't think we've had any swaps. I think Philadelphia Fright's a little low on people. They do have a sub in right now, so I think this is just the team they have. Uh, oh, it looks like actually RoboMonkey was swapped out last map. That's true. And it looks like Kabuki is staying out. Oh, no. Kabuki was in. Was Robo RoboMonkey was in. Orcus has been subbed out for Peep O Glad. I don't know. Oop. It looks like we're making some swaps. Yes, uh, Nightbot has more power than any other mod in my chat, considering they are the one mod that shows up the most. Deadstock was here briefly, and I believe Deadstock is a moderator. I think I gave him mod- yeah, he is a moderator. Him and Yellow, I mostly gave moderator just to watch them duke it out and not be able to, uh, to do anything. Um, Anime Saint, I can't tell Boston to do anything is- uh, regard to their team comps, given that I have zero authority in this league. Also, I don't know if you rioting would do anything. Alright. Well, I'm assuming Chris got put in, because you're very excited now. I don't know who Chris is. Oh, apparently it's not pronounced peep Oh, glad I have no idea how that's supposed to be pronounced, so you're gonna have to bear with me. <laughs> Never mind, Deadstock is here. Just timed out Dab Master for 600 seconds. Well, Deadstock makes a triumphant return to prove he is the one true moderator and is meaner than the Nightbot. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We had Orcus came out, RoboMonkey came out, Beepo Glad, and Missinacrin? Nac Missinacrin? I don't know. You people need... I need, like, a... Like, can we do it so that when they fill out their season, like, SR forms, they give me a full pronunciation of what their name is supposed to sound like? Like, if I'm supposed to do this thing where I cast games, and I have to suffer through this, can we at least not make it a full joke where I have to try and pronounce these people's names? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, Kabuki, at least, makes sense. RV, so I can sort of figure out. Brandon, uh-huh. RoboMonkey. But what is this? What is this supposed to be? Miss, in, knack, rin. Crin? Miss, in, knacky, rin? <laughs> Anime say just got killed by Nightbot again. That's hilarious. <laughs> Missing Naki right now. Oh, that's the joke. I see. Who is Naki? <laughs> I am reading Missing Naki right now. It's a 30 second delay. You're going to have to forgive me. <laughs> Read, please. Nope. <laughs> Honestly, Nightbot is the most entertaining thing that's happened in a while in this stream, so, you know. Deadstock is not abusing power. Oh, Deadstock is abusing power. <laughs> Deadstock's just timing out Dab Master for fun, it looks like. Which is fine. Um, Naki was a person in this league. Are they still a person in this league? Ugh, my cat. Very much wants attention. Ugh. Cat. We chill? We chill. Um. Oh my goodness. I have people telling me it's missing Naki right now in the admins. Who is this person? That's going to be a block. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Bye. Bye. Um, toxic, probably. That's fine, although. 
Let's see what's happening. I have new unreads. Oh, Deadstock was kind enough to post the link. I think it already got posted to Calendar, which is where it's supposed to go. I did message Stonewall to do that. Oof. Well, I don't quite know what we're doing here. It looks like we're just waiting for teammates. Oh my goodness, cat, you cannot be on the desk. This is the general rule. Deadstock is a big bully, but you have to let him have his wins. Oh, yellow's also showed up. Never mind. You insulted Deadstock, Dab. You had to know better. And Nightbot shows up to follow yellow off with a Bama to Omni. <laughs> well, not a Bama timeout. Or a warning, I guess. Oh no, it is a five second timeout. Honestly, Nightbot's been the MVP of the stream so far. It's pretty hilarious. And I was thinking about removing <laughs> the caps. Because uh, I can I can edit Nightbot and what it does. But after this stream, I think I'm going to keep it. Because it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> exactly. This is hilarious. Nightbot just tosses people out. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if anyone can convince me to remove Nightbot at this point. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Nightbot is poo, but it's honestly like it's how I would be as a moderator. I empathize too much with Nightbot to ever remove him. I could remove the cap, the cap spans, but the more people ask, the more I'm convinced not to. No, I don't think so. I think if you want to spam caps in chat, you can restrain yourself and just pretend you did. And then we'll all be happy. Nightbot is super toxic. <laughs> Oh, it's the best. Oof. As I think we are still waiting for teams to ready up. Let's see. Oh, never mind. Traveling Looks like we're Dorado. about to go to Dorado. The Mexican town based off, uh, I believe an Italian city is what I remember people saying when they were looking for artistic inspiration. They had the picture of an Italian city and they're like, that looks Mexican. We'll just use that. Initiating I believe that was in an Overwatch development video at one point that I watched. Alright, let's see. So this is match point. With Boston Frost up two, in case you forgot in the five minutes where you just had to listen to me ramble and try to fill dead air. I don't know exactly what they'll play. I think oh, it looks like it's going to be Winston Ball on the side of the attackers with a Ryan Zarya coming out from uh, Philadelphia Freight. Although it looks like it's going to be Mars instead of Weedy on the Zarya with Weedy. Attackers swipping over, swipping. Whoo, boy! I'm looking forward. To yes, working. we're swipping over to the Reaper, guys. <laughs> With Weedy taking the DPS roll and lying in wait for Boston Frost. Again, it looks like we have a Reaper McCree Five, on the side of Boston four, Frost with a Lucio three. Moira. Two, and a Reaper May one. on the side of Philadelphia Frame incoming. with another Lucio Moira as Oh, Stop Weedy isn't pain. spotted. Uh, patient, patient, Weedy. Oh, this looks like he's gonna get on this Lucio. Can Lucio get away? Lucio's gonna boot Weedy's gonna have to wraith away. Wall comes out. Oh no, we have our Viso on the May too. I was confused for a second. Must have made a last minute swap. Another wall comes out, but it doesn't get a full team. So Reinhardt is frozen. Reinhardt is picked. JJ is going down. Omni 
Lucy is gonna get a pick on a Mithlafi with. I'm just gonna have to say Boston Frost is Lucy though. As Mars and all of you do hold, although. Looks like Mars is walled off, and I think Kaluki unfortunately is the only person shooting. Polis comes out from both sides. Mars finally goes down. Beat comes out from the side of uh, Boston Cross to stabilize the fight, although it is stacked with portals, and Big Lofty is going to get another kill. Swapping actually from the Mercy and support onto DPS, and proving quite capable of DPS as well as Mercy, as they get uh, two or three kills there, I think. Omni just kind of hanging out on card trying to stall it as much as possible. As Boston Frost cleans it up and pushes back the Philadelphia Freight. The weenie is getting close to it. Hello. Death Blossom, I don't... Are they gonna make it? They might make it. They're gonna make it. Because we have Sinister with the Blizzard on cart. Sinister and Weenie are gonna get two picks. As it looks like Boston Frost is going to back off after that and not invest any ult and wait for them to regroup and have the next fight. Nice retake by Philadelphia Fusion. Or not Philadelphia Fusion. Oh boy, Philadelphia Fright. Again, still have this Death Blossom. So we're coming up on Blizzard from the other oh, side. Oh, oh, so this is going to be, I think, a case of who presses Q first. And Philadelphia Bright has had some struggles with this in the past. So let's see what happens here. They have spotted Weedy on this left flank, with the Bay of Reaper coming to push him out. Winston is in on the main tank. And Blizzard is going to come out. Meat comes out to counter. Wraith is going to come out to also just... Weedy doesn't know where he wants to go, but he's made a decision. Jenny Hoops does go down. It's Q! There's Weedy! Only's gonna get one because the Reaper has race still. Kill this Winston! Come on! Oh, we're so low, and he has primal. But it is just a lone Winston on point. I do think Philadelphia Fright is gonna hold this. Oh, never mind, there's a Moira helping him out. And the Lucio's back. Coalescence is coming out from the Moira, but the Winston died. Now it's just the two supports trying to desperately support each other on this last point as the Wrecking Ball comes in, but the Moira goes down. And can we keep two more than two people on this cart? Never mind, they're gonna- Oh, nice pick on the Wrecking Ball. We're at 60 seconds in now. Up oh, and a pick onto the Bay. Excellent job. Hello. They're onto the Roadhog now. Hook is down, although tried to get Weedy, but missed. As they're pushing into Grab Blizzard. They do have a Death Blossom, they do have Mines, and they do have Beat to try and sustain. But we'll see what happens. Shatter comes out, it's gonna get the Moira. Beat comes out too late. Lizard comes out, Coalescence comes out, Grab comes out. The Grab Blizzard is not well coordinated. It's a little off. It is gonna get the Lucio, though. But Boston Frost got three picks as Weedy is fighting the Roadhog in the hallway. He is gonna get the Roadhog, and it looks like the Zarya. Death Blossom to clear mines, I'm assuming, and then McLaughy is actually going to clean up the rest of the team on point, including Weedy after Weedy gets a pick on Arviso, and right now it's just Omni here, doing their best to stall on cart. Up, oh, Reinhardt is back, Beat comes out to protect Reinhardt, Mister. they're going to try and invest and keep this at overtime, as Sinister comes back on Tracer, Moira goes down to the Reinhardt, JJ Hoops, Hook comes in on a JJ Hoops, kills him. Right now it's Zarya, pretty much everyone but the Reinhardt is back on the side of Philadelphia Fright as they're just trying to keep Boston Frost here at the first point with Weedy cleaning up but eventually getting cleaned up by RV. So it's just a Hanzo and Wrecking Ball on point, but Wrecking Ball is so sticky and difficult to remove, especially when it's just a trace with your main sword of DPS. Mines are going to come out from the Wrecking Ball, as it looks like this Wrecking Ball stall is going to be good as the point slowly creeps forward. And don't let them trap! You almost have it! We're in overtime, come on! Oh, Sinister's gonna die to the mines as the Winston is back, and the Winston is in! And they're gonna get the point! Careful, careful! <laughs> oh, as Brandon gets three kills, nice, nice, nice! But it's just right now, Weedy, this Reinhardt, and Omni on point. Weedy is gonna get the Winston. But they haven't been able to kill this ball, and Kabuki's finally gonna kill Weedy, as it's still Omni starting off. Sinister is back, as Omni dies. As they're just gonna try and stall it out, but the payload reaches the checkpoint. Good stall. You almost had it, but they couldn't kill that ball. That's unfortunate. I think they needed Weedy there to focus the ball, because I don't know that the Tracer's gonna do enough. But they still have Shatter, they still have Pulse Bomb. But they have a coalescence on the side. Let's see what Kabuki is doing. Kabuki! Shown to be a pretty decent ball. 
Running around, being annoying, and stalling like nobody's business. Well, now we're going very far away from the fight, and I'm gonna go to the Reinhardt before I miss anything. This Lucia gets a pick on our Viso. We have a Shatter, is he gonna use it? Never mind, they're gonna do Death Blossom and Grab. The Grab does not get much of anything, but Death Blossom does get branded. So it looks like Philadelphia Freight will reclaim this payload. Although, the Roadhog will kill Omni. Looks like the Roadhog is in the back. <laughs> As Beat comes out to save this Roadhog, that's on critically low health and has lost his way. Pulse Bomb comes out, Weedy's gonna kill the Roadhog, Arbiso's gonna kill Lucia, and then Weedy's just gonna clean these people up. As what's happening on cart? Mines came out on cart, and it looks like that killed our main tank, but we still have Mars on point, the Tracer's still on point, Tracer's gonna go down and be sloppy, and then Dragons is gonna come out from Arbiso and just kinda cut off. Uh, Philadelphia Fright if they try to recontest the payload. As they kind of pull back and try and group up, and it looks like they're going to try and go for another hold on this second point and see if they can stop Boston Frost here this time. Since they were so close on getting the first point, Reinhardt's going to get hooked in, it's going to shatter, it's going to get one. Beat's going to come out from the side of Omni, immediately followed by Coalescence to do some damage. And that's going to get one, two, three, as Motion just cleans people up with that big Kamehameha of death. Of age. Nice. And they have 20 seconds. It's gonna be on this record ball to touch, probably. Unless, is there anyone waiting in the wings? Can we see anyone? Oh, they have a soldier? Ooh, Reaper gets picked by Sinister. That is unfortunate. He was super close to Death Blossom, too. But Weedy has his, and they're almost up on grab. Hello, cat. Wrecking Ball's on point. Roadhog is also on point with the whole hog to try and hold him off. Grab comes out, it's only gonna get one, but Weedy is gonna come in and get four people. This payload stops here. Death Mines come out to try and recontest, but right now it's just the Reaper and the Wrecking Ball on point. I don't know if this is gonna be enough against the whole team of Philadelphia Fright. And Philadelphia Fright holds them before second point on Dorado. Nice job. I think they solved some of their issues with initiation. To one. Switching sides. A little more willing to press key, a little more willing to get aggressive instead of just back off. Initiating. Let's match. see if they can keep it up. Let's see if we can get... <sighs> Let's not have a 3-0 here. It's just disappointing. Philadelphia Freight has some fight in them. Let's see what, see what we can do. As we look at the beautiful, beautiful, weird moon with some sort of weird-ass glyphs on it. Alright. I'm gonna take a drink of water because casting alone also means that you talk a lot. Not that I don't already talk a lot, even when I have a second caster, Ready but for battle. thirsty. This water is not for you, cat. This is only for me. It's not even really water, it's lemonade. You probably would like it. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. What do you want? Certainly not food because it is not time for dinner yet. You have an hour and 52 minutes before dinner. Exactly. All right, it looks like Ryan Zarya on the side of Philadelphia Fright, double shield on the side of Boston Frost. They did very well with the double shield on Anubis, so maybe they're going back to the strength. Again, four, Maze on both three, sides, Reapers on two, both sides, Moira's one. and Lucio's on both Attackers sides. Incoming. Let's see what we see. Stop the payload. A little bit of poke from both sides. Weedy's going underneath to try and be a sneaky reaper to see if they spot him. As the wall is good, it forces Boston Frost to reposition and gives them some free push without any sort of poke damage on this car. So they get it pretty much all the way almost under the bridge as Weedy is in the back on this Moira. Does get the kill on the Moira and then is going to wraith out back to his team. Walls off Arviso. Arviso is in the back line, but there's much more response to him as Omni and Weedy both... This Sigma's a little out of position, as Philadelphia Fright just roll this point forward, honestly just kind of plowing through the double shield comp of Boston Frost, and getting a really good time for first point Dorado. Is that Sigma still back there? Oh, You're so out of position, sir. I don't even know what to tell you. Mistakes were made, and we both know it. Woo! 
aggressive here pushing forward. They know they have good time and they know they don't have far to go. So Reaper's gonna try and tell them. Weedy's already there and Weedy's gonna get him killed first. Weedy is in the back line. He's gonna get a second pick. It's on the Ana in the back, but finally gets killed by the Ana as the team turns around and faces them. But he's created so much space for his team as these tanks are already up where they need to go. Let's see what JJ Hoops is doing. Low, but his healers are there to heal him up. And they're essentially already holding at this corner right before where they are. They're getting so much free push. It's good answer from the Ana. On to the main tanks. Lift comes out. They don't have beat yet. This could hurt. As Lift is gonna kill the Zarya. This Reaper is just gonna now pour damage into this, but Weedy kills the Reaper. Anticon's on top of the Reinhardt as he charges into the Coalescence. As the Sigma's gonna get two kills, with Brandon getting a third. Weedy is still in there, you're alone, my guy. Rejoin your team and spawn. Well, good value off the Lift. But they have four minutes to push it, maybe two meters. I don't think Philadelphia Fright is terribly worried, and they're coming up on four ultimates while we just have Bongo on the side. Reaper is teleporting up on top, but Weedy has spotted him. The Blizzard is gonna come out. Spotted by Bongo, I don't know where that Blizzard went. I have no clue. Anyways, they're scrapping on point. Counter Blizzard comes out, and it's a little better, and then I can see where it is. Death Blossom also comes out. It's gonna get one, it's gonna get moved away, but Kabuki and Missing Naki right now is going to get the next kill. I don't know why you're missing Oi. Naki, but I'm assuming Hello. they are to be missed. Because that was an incredibly loud teleport. Whoop! We still have three ults on the side of Philadelphia Fright, but we're coming up on the lift again on the side of Boston Frost, as well as the Coalescence. Reaper is up on top, but so is Weedy, and Weedy has spotted Arvisa first. Weedy has won this duel before. Let's see if they can win again. We're just kind of both teams are feeling each other out. Death Blossom comes down, immediately gets slept. Coalescence comes out, Shatter comes out, Lift comes out, Grav comes out. As Kabuki gets two, Sigma gets one, Sinister gets one, but Brandon's gonna get another one with the Coalescence. I mean, that was a lot of ults on both sides. I think that was a bold play by Weedy to dive down in front of the whole team after it had already been spotted by the Reaper. A bold, bold play as Sinister swaps onto the Pharah trying something different. They don't have a hit scan on the side of Boston Cross, so that could be a good move. But Reinhardt's sleeping on the job. Wake up, man. Nana goes onto the Reaper. Are they going to do a Beyblade? No, he doesn't have it yet. It's just going to hurt a lot as this Reaper's going to pour into this Zarya. Is he going to get the kill? Nope. Gonna turn around and look at the Reinhardt that's in his team. Coalescence comes out to try and save the Reinhardt, but it's just not quick enough. It's just gonna kind of do some damage to the team. As Sinister is out on this Pharah, no Mercy support right now. Maybe they'll swap. Maybe they won't. We'll see. Looks like they're not gonna swap. Looks like they're gonna stick with it and try to push through on six. Bongo comes out from the side of Boston Frost. Omni gets picked pretty much immediately in that fight. Coalescence comes out also from Boston Frost. And the lift. It looks like they are going to win this team by and just clean up. Oof, as that time bank is just slowly chipped away by Boston Frost. Philadelphia Fright looked so good in the beginning. They got it so far so quickly, but now they've gone from 4 minutes and 16 seconds down to 1 minute and 24. And they just have a Shatter, pushing into a Death Blossom. Weedy almost has his, they almost have Grav, they're coming up on Barrage, but can they get these ults fast enough and can they execute them in the way where they actually get real progress on this payload? Reaper's been spotted, Reaper's been pushed out on the high ground by the both DPS. Omni's sleeping on the job. Hulk comes out, doesn't get anything. Reaper's gonna teleport up again, are they gonna... Nano comes out, they're gonna Death Blossom. He's gonna get two. Third goes down to the Sigma, Weedy's gonna get cleaned up. They are now into one fight territory. They have four ults on their side versus none on the side of Boston Frost. Philadelphia Fright can still do this. They still have a chance. They have grab pretty much. They have four of their ults. It's about not pressing Q at exactly the same time, but staggering them through so you clean up the fight. Because right here, they almost have it. The payload is almost there. If they do this right, they can win this map. Reaper's on the high ground. Can anybody spot him? Shatter comes out, he doesn't get much. Coalescence comes out to follow up. 
Reaper is in the back, just pouring damage into the side. Weedy has spotted the Reaper, it's gonna force him to Wraith out. They have a shoulder up on the high ground. Grab comes out, Death Blossom comes out to clean up the grab. It is gonna get two, three as Philadelphia Fright takes this. Nice job, Philly. You had it in you. Play of the game. Kabuki's gonna get play of the game on Arisa. Then we're killing a wall. And then we're killing a Reinhardt. And then we're reloading. And then we're killing a Zarya. Cool. That's a very high percentage. Nice job, Weedy. Oof. All right, let's update the score. One to two. As we actually, we're gonna go to a fourth map, guys. This is the first game I've casted that goes to a fourth map. And it looks like it's gonna be King's Row, but I think it is actually Boston Frost's first map pick. So we'll see if that is indeed what they want. You got timed out for posting four emojis from, I'm assuming, Nightbot. Well, if you hate life because of Nightbot, then clearly your life wasn't going so well to begin with. This is a Twitch chat. There's more to be had in life than this. Isn't that right, Cat? Yeah, I hear you. It still isn't dinner time, no matter how much you cry. Your Anna wasn't good enough, Chris. What's your, what's your, I don't recognize, I'm assuming your Twitch name is different from your Overwatch name. What's your battle tag? I don't recognize you. I'm assuming you were in because people were crying that you weren't playing and then crying that you were. And now you're complaining that your Anna wasn't good enough. Perhaps I saw you. Invite me to the game. Am I allowed to do this dead stock? I think you're already in this game, aren't you? Yes. Oh no, you're not. You were in a custom game. I don't know why you want to be here. Oh, you are here. Why are you here? Hello, Deadstock. Hey. <laughs> I, hey, how's it going? I was going to come stream. I felt bad for you because you, you're having to do this all by yourself, and I thought it was going to be oh, over I after three. But looks like it is. <laughs> looks like yeah, yeah. Nice. See, this is why you whine. It's because it gets you things. Yeah. Are we on stream now? We are. Oh, I just want to say, Dab Master, <laughs> you say one thing, dude. I dare you. I ban you so hard. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. Yeah, but this is this is gonna actually go. We have a two-one scenario here, not a three-zero. And it's a pretty good game. Yeah. I'm really into it. Yeah, it's good. Both teams are doing very well. I know. I was looking at the the score roster thing, and it's been a lot of three O's this season. So I'm glad. It has. I'm glad this is not going to be a three O. Philadelphia Fright said no. <laughs> <laughs> we will not Me be too. three O'd. <laughs> so what map are we doing now? Kings Row. It Everybody like loves Kings Row. Yeah, I think uh, Philadelphia picked it when they thought it was supposed to be hybrid instead of escort and then swapped to derive. Uh, but it looks I gotcha. like Boston Frost is going to pick it instead. Although I don't know that I would pick a hybrid map that my enemy team has already picked before. Mm. That seems like they maybe are confident on that map and have practiced. But If, it also if you've been in Mal for any time and you're not confident on King's Row... <laughs> that's, a pro that's a problem. But are we you? Play this, we play this I, don't know. I think always. King's Row is so well scrimmed. It's always better to get the enemy team on a map where they're not quite so sure footed. I, I don't disagree. But I think every team is confident in their abilities on King's Row. So they just think they're the best team. And I think this is a good way to find out True. who the best team it is, is the on this map. So it's the proving grounds for certain. Mm -hmm. I will say, I think Philadelphia Fright, not only are they short on hands, I think they're a little short on practice time. So. We'll see. Maybe Boston Frost will have a cleaner King's Row because they just seem like they have that little bit more practice time. They're a little faster on the execution in terms of alt combos, pressing Q, and getting stuff together. So, mm -hmm. yeah. No. Is we're going to have Robo Monkey coming back in. Phonics is also going to come in. 
I don't know who any of these people are, but we can look at career profiles. Phonics is the tank person. Silver tank. Very tank. It's going to be interesting to see what the tank lineups are here. Ryan Zara really strong here, but... I mean, Rohan, dive, just, he dive just seems to be the play. I know he was playing... Uh, yeah. yeah. And I don't know how to say this name. People gl- I, People glad... I don't know. People were making fun of me in chat for saying that, but I don't know how to say that. I don't know what the, what's supposed like. This is why I think on the mal form that you have to fill out for every season, they should ask a question of like, how do you pronounce your battle tag <laughs> for the streamers? <laughs> I think that should be a thing. I also think icon coordination should be a thing. Uh, looks like we have a DPS RV so with some Zenyatta play, but that's really just another DPS. And then apparently missing Naki right now. I got lectured for mispronouncing that name. Oh yeah, and that is not Naki, by the way. That is that is the rumor going around Mal that that is Naki. It is that is absolutely false. That is not Chris. Found that out the other day. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that's the Chris Ball in my chat. Who was crying earlier about... Probably, probably he's, he, he likes to cry. He likes to cry. That makes sense. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's a good guy. <laughs> uh, if I close out of this, I've opened a window that I can't figure out how to close. Unfortunate. Oh, well. He just lives there now. Uh, and then we have Brandon. Hot cat. Ooh, Moira. Pretty good Moira play. Uh, and then I'm assuming JJ Hoop, who's been also on the Reinhardt. Z Guy 32, that's a new person. Ooh, Diamond Tank, Ryan Zarya, Hog. Mm -hmm. Weedy, we know. Weedy's gonna have a million hours on Reaper. Oh, oh yeah. And actually, for this season. But let's look at all competitive season. Yeah, there's the truth. That's what I thought, sir. <laughs> uh, Sinister, who apparently also has some fans, is going to be also Ryan Farah. Sinister, yeah. I think Sinister was here before I was. That's how long Sinister's been around. Oh, that guy is be quite omnipresent. Time since you are quite M ancient. What? Okay, read. Yeah, that just that just, that just registered. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I was waiting for you to say something that took. No, a that while. yeah, it was a, it was a boomer response time, proving your proving your insult correct. <laughs> I don't know what. So we're there's for, a, but I'm seems to be a little hold up here. I'm reading the chat. Seems to be pretty interesting here. The game chat. Watch the game chat. Yeah. Sometimes people are unique. Yes, yes. It's, it's a good idea not to have that up on your stream for sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to lose or get in trouble with Twitch. Seems uh, that. Can continue clicking through. Omni is a diamond Lucio player. They had some really good Lucio play earlier, but also some Hanzo play. Pretty high all around. Omni, another person that's been here for a long time, came into the league as a bronze and has now climbed his way to diamond. Good job, really? Omni. Yes. Let's see. Let's let's watch the journey. Who's the season two? Gold. Gold. Oh, I thought he was a bronze. Gold. I'm probably wrong then. Plat. 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 Gold again. Ooh, there's the silver. Silver season nine. The fall from grace doesn't play season ten. Gold again. Season thirteen. Gold. Gold. Plat. We reached plat again. All gold and plat. Solid plat. Oh, gold and plat. Plat. And then diamond this season, or that last season. Yeah, good job, Congrats, Omni. Yeah, it went from barely diamond to hitting a peak of 3,200 this, this season. Nice job. RoboMonkey is right now set to spec all. We should probably let someone know that that shouldn't be happening. Dead stock. 
Yes, ma'am. Wanna whisper weedy? Let him know. That might be a bad idea going forward. Whilst we wait for King's Road to start, I'm assuming we're just waiting for. I think they are trying to figure out Peepo Glad's SR. He may have an account that is higher. That's what it ah. seems, seems to be the holdup. Interesting. Well, I can pull up the roster sheet because I had it up like two seconds ago. Nope. History. History. Cat. Not right now. Um, as it loads. Uh, do do do. We scroll down. Is it all? So many things. What's was on Boston Frost? People glad. Yeah, that is. It looks like an alt account. Mm. Or it's not updated on the sheet. Or on the roster sheet, at least that I have access to the public one. Gotcha. Is there a masters on their roster? Uh, yes. Yeah, he's probably just on it. Master's Tank. Ohm. Ohm234. That's probably him. Mm. Looks like we're about to ready up here. Exciting. Exciting times. Oof. What do you think makes King's Row such a favorite map? Like, everyone it's, loves it. It's just the map design. It's just so good. Like, the, the first choke is daunting, but when you get past it, it really opens up for the attackers. Mm. Um, it's it's just such now, a well-designed map all the way around. And, it's it's such an attack-favored map. Do you think that's yeah. why it's so loved? Like, even if you go on to King's Row as a defender, like, you're still not mad to play it. Do you think it's just better overall to have attack-favored maps? I think so, and I, th I think that's one reason for sure, but, like, it's just the linear nature of it. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? There's not a lot of open space. It forces the teams into the very tight quarters, and they have to fight it out, and I think that's very enjoyable. It's a, it's a, it forces a, a much faster pace, I, I think, mm. than a lot of the other maps. Um, True. There is There also are, like, set phases, too. Like, mm -hmm. you have this first choke, and then you have streets, and then you have this second fight in front of the factory, and then the factory. Ready for battle. So it, it's kind of got a lot of different flavors to it too. You can and it's a, 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 quite a bit of variety in what you can run here as well. So true. As so it looks like we're gonna get a Ryan Zarya from Philly and a double bubble from Double Oop, Bubble. As What's my cat pulls my mouse cord and we look up at the sky for a minute. <laughs> 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 um, and a double bubble from uh, Boston Frost with a Widowmaker. Orcus did pop off on that Widow on Anubis, so. He really did. It was yeah. very impressive. Oh, never mind. We're going to the Rhine's Aria off of the Four, double bubble. Three. And my we, money's on Weedy here. Weedy is going to eat Reaper. here on King's Row. This is this is what he's been waiting for all this night. Is, this is his map. Yes, it is. Let's start on Weedy and see what he does. As my cat is desperately trying to pull my mouse cord right now. So apologies if the camera suddenly jerks. He's got to be really weary of that that widow. Though. That's one thing he doesn't want to doesn't want to run into her sidelines for sure. But as long as he plays this right, he should he should be able Ooh, to but dish it out. Hit. Way down. As it looks like the pressure of the widow and Arviso as all of these trying to get onto the widow in the back, but it's gonna die on point. Is Boston die. Frost just kind of rolls through here and takes very the clean first fight. Very clean. As we have some voice lines from Orcus. That beautiful Objective southern French accent lost. I've been told. I am not a French Stop speaker myself, but I've been told it's a very southern French accent. Setting up this nice crossfire onto the supports and onto Sinister as the Zarya actually gets the pick on the Wushu in the back. I don't even know where that shot came from. Oh, the Zarya's up here with McLaughy. McLaughy does get picked by Sinister and Weedy is on the Zarya, so that is two down for the Boston Frost. As they enter into the streets phase as Orcus does go down to Sinister. And they're going to meet at this initial choke past point A, as Philadelphia Freight is going to push them back with JJ Coops. Almost at that shatter, but a little behind Kabuki. It's gonna just 
Here they come. Arviso on the side. We need. Is gonna try and get out. Is gonna get out. Teleports out. Sinister's a little isolated on the side. Is he gonna get out again? Looks like he's gonna get out. As we enter and contain what I call the second phase of streets past the pub. Let's see what we got here. We Another have shatters clean on both fight sides, for but we have five. grabs pretty much on both sides. As Sinister gets a pick out of his coffee, that's great. That's a beat. Oh, support out from Philadelphia Freight. Grab comes out on their site with the dragon. That's four alts on the side of Philadelphia Freight. The old spark back. special. Let's go, Philly. Yeah. They have stacked support alts all night, but, you know, motions to sub doesn't quite know the team, doesn't quite know the tempo, and it can be hard if you don't have a support that's talking a lot about how I'm going to ult this fight, are you going to ult next fight? It happens. It's unfortunate, though. So. The power of destruction. Well. We have Shatter still in play as a Bastion is on the field. Arviso laying down the suppressing fire. I don't know how much this is going to work for them. I could be wrong, although. They can win a fight and. and... Death comes oh, out yeah. Bastion. That bubble was clutch from his Zarya. Very much so. Yeah. They may want to rethink this. I don't know that the Bastion is worth it. Again, two Shatters, still in play. But we now have a beat on the side of Boston Frost to protect against the other Shatter as long as McLaughlin doesn't get... Uh, ...stunned himself. Should be okay. Uh, we just have this Hanzo spam coming from a pub. Both teams kind of position around the corner of this bookshop as they see a spark spray on the window. Nice representation. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Shatter comes out and is going to get three despite the bubble. Pin comes out and kills JJ. Hoops. Grab comes out and is going to get three. Coalescence comes out. I'm assuming up. It's going to go for the Hanzo in the pub. Nope. It's also going to focus on the grab. It's a little lost. We froze the Zarya, but it looks like the Coalescence wasn't needed for the grab as Kabuki is going to clean up with our Viso. Now set up on the car. Omni is just dancing and stalling. Now, this is where the Bastion gets scary. Once it's set up, yeah. it, it 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 could this could turn into a real snowball here. True. Hello. We still have a Shatter on the side of the defenders, as well as a Dragon. Dragon is a very good ult to get Bastions out of places. <laughs> it, it absolutely. We'll see. They gotta touch this cart. They can't just let it go. And they're first. Oh, the Dragons and Shatter comes yep, out, but the Blizzard is on cart. Lots of people are frozen, and they, they got two picks, but it looks like, oh, Graf comes out, Beat gets cancelled, oh. gets eaten. Beat cancelled. It looks like Philadelphia Freight was shaky there for a moment, but they end up cleaning up the fight with the investment of the Graf. Nice fight, and yeah. they got the beat out. Yeah. It's always rough to die in the cast. As Pretty Weedy's, much. Weedy is just camping this cart. Refuses to be c 9 <laughs> Oh, he's gonna teleport up to high ground and do some reaper things. Almost has a death blossom, so let's see where he's... He's crouching on the high ground. Trying to be a sneaky boy. Waiting for the sign. Gets immediately shot with a Hanzaro and runs back to his team. Come on, Weedy! Impress! We're watching! Let's see, both teams are in. Reinhardt's very low. Reinhardt goes down actually to the Moira. As this cart is just slowly getting forward. They're gonna have to defend something. Coalescence comes out. Shatter comes out, stuns all the team, including the death. This is where we, we, we're just gonna hit it right here. Yeah. Oh no, he used it. He didn't use it. No, he just. No, he didn't. He still has it. He got scared. Didn't use it. I, re I really thought once he got up from the Shatter, he was gonna go for it. Probably smart to hang on to it there. Boston Frost just pushes up and gets sinister. They're gonna grab a health pack and the dead body of the Hanzo. But they didn't need that grab. They're playing so well, they knew they could throw it away and it wouldn't matter. Coalescence on the side of Boston Frost, three alts on the side of Philadelphia, right? We still have that death blossom from the last fight. Dragons and a beat. Let's see if they can get
get out of their spawn doors. They've already got really good progress all the way around this corner for Boston Frost. As Philadelphia Frights just a little scared to push into them. I don't know what all they think they have, but they think they have a good one. Meanwhile, oh, finally Kabuki goes down. But Z guy also goes down. Weedy's gonna get a pick onto RV, so as it has been very back and forth, but it looks like Boston Frost is gonna back up. Oh, but this Zari is just, this master player down. is rolling through this team. Shatter comes out, it's a oh, huge Shatter more. 3. Coalescence Dude. comes out to follow up on the Shatter, and Death Blossom for flavor oh, from there the it high is. ground. Let's a go. A little bit of a style play, Weedy. Don't know how necessary that was, okay. <laughs> it looked good, though. It, it looked, looked good on good. stream. It looked good. Let's go, Weedy. <laughs> Reinhardt charges back in there, full six. Boston Frost is ready to push in as they have 30 seconds, three ultimates online. They only have a Coalescence up on the other team, which also has the same. Weedy has been spotted as he immediately goes and sacrifices himself to the enemy team. Sinister gets a pick onto Brandon, that's good. That's Coalescence down, B comes out from Philadelphia Fright and Dragons gets pinned out. Wrath comes out and it's gonna help them Dragons get two as Dragons comes out from Arviso. Let's see what it can get. I don't think it's gonna get anything because the team's just got that Lucio. They can just get out of it. Sights comes out from Orcus, but it is fast. gonna die. As Coalescence comes out from the Moira, desperately trying to touch point. We have the ball, but they just can't quite make it. As Philadelphia Fright holds it past second point, right before third. It's, good. it's a good push. Yeah. I honestly thought Boston had it after Weedy went and fed. But that pick on the Moira by Sinister was actually really good because that was sw I, swung it back. Yeah, that was their coalescence that I think they probably wanted to engage with. And it's always hard when you have a plan and it's immediately disrupted. And it's like, <laughs> shit, we didn't have a plan B. <laughs> you always have that first plan of like, okay, we're gonna do this, this, and then this, this falls apart. And then it's like, ah, shit. So what do we do now? Yeah. I didn't well, think uh, that far ahead. It's, it's, it's a situation that uh, Spark has never been in. We always have three plans. <laughs> Ready for battle. We have we have three plans, and it is shoot, run, and hide. I thought I thought our three plans were spark special, spark special, and spark special. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> I I think those those are the additional bullet points under the shoot plan. <laughs> <laughs> when all else fails, hit Q. Yeah. We all get scared. See, we're just, we're such a, like, coordinated team that we're all at the same time thinking, press Q. Yes. You. <laughs> yes. It's just, like, all through all of our minds at the same very time. All right. It looks like we're going to have Ryan Zarya Five, from Philadelphia four, Fright on the attack. Three, and then a double two, shield one, from Boston Frost with Orcus on that Widow. Defend Brandon's going to make a last-minute swap to the Mercy. I don't know if they can get here. It looks like Mercy and Baptiste are both not in play. Oh, as the Baptiste is waiting to try and give the Mercy a boost, as oh, nice hit onto Z guy. As it looks like they're gonna go into this tiny hotel with JJ Hoops in here, trying to avoid the Widow's sightlines. Not a bad play to rotate around this left corner, although the Widow has rotated to compensate. They are gonna push in and they're gonna try and flip the point on them and take the defend defender's position. They're on the Mercy. Mercy goes down. Sigma is so low. As Weenie and Z guy, they're just on this team. As Omni's gonna go for the Widow. Let's see this happen. Get him, Omni. Oh, they ran away. They know to fear the frog, man. Omni's going still. But, oh, that was hubris. That was hubris. <laughs> but it did get his team the cap. I'll give him that. <laughs> Although they are back still on to the hold. double barrier here. Yeah, they are back to hold on this first choke. As we have Weedy up waiting in the wings. 50% death blossom, so just trying to be sneaky. With Sinister also up here on taking advantage of the high ground to try and out snipe Orcus. A scary proposition considering Orcus is very good. As he just. Yep. Oop, I cannot find Orcus on my FF. There we go. No one Teaches Omni respect sight. right there. Shoots him with the shield. Oof. Nice shot onto Sinister. I would peek that corner with sights up. Frost yeah. playing the double barrier very well, just 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 kiting away just enough to keep to keep the poke going where where 
Philly can't really engage with them, and that's that's what you have to do in this double barrier is just kind of play keep away. True. They did a very good double barrier, too, on Anubis. I honestly haven't seen it played in such a long time, but they played it really well, especially the Sigma, who I believe was a robo lad in this game. But Shatter's going to come in. There it is, yeah. They just sped in. Yeah. yeah. Immortality comes out to save the team. But they are going to gain a lot of space and progress off of that one ult, even though they don't get many kills. As this crossfire is kind of set up between the two snipers as they push through, closing in on second point. Lift is going to come out. Coalescence comes out to save people from Lift. Only Omni is going to go down just a little too low for Coalescence to save them. As Weedy goes down, then Zarya goes down, following up with the Bongo. The Bongo is just, just too, too much. much. Yeah, too much damage for Coalescence. As Mushu's gonna fade out of there and run. Run, away. Mushu. Yeah. Hello. All right. Well, we almost hey. have Death Blossom grab on the side of Philadelphia Fright. We have Window and Valk as Orcus is just gonna smack Weedy. Let's see. They have sights in play. Oh, not. They're smart enough not to shoot the bubble. Activating the barrier. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, Philadelphia approaches this with them on the high ground. This is really kind of tough for them. Yeah, it's tough for Ryan Zari. They don't have much in the way of her. No one can hide. Sight is coming sight. out. But it looks like they're just going to speed underneath them yeah. and force That's them amazing. to fight them on the cart. Force Excellent them to rotate, yeah. yeah. They're very nice. Wraith across. They're very scared of this Widow now, rightly so. Sinister's trying to peek on his own, but it's got to wait for the sights to go down. Sight is off cooldown, but the Sigma does know they're there. Widow's back in play. This Widow, honestly, has been super dominating from the side of Boston Frost. It's very hard. They're very scared. I find it difficult to contend. Although, oh, so low. So low. Immortality is out. Window is out. Grab is out. As Death Blossom comes out with the beat for support and the dragon for some fun. Valk comes out. The res comes out for Kabuki on cart with the horse on point. We have some stall here still, but I don't know how much it's going to be. The Sigma is still alive, too, hiding in the subway. Mercy is going to dash him, try and heal him up, but the Sigma is going to go down, and the Mercy is going to follow, and the horse is just going to kind of have to slowly backwards walk out of this. I don't if think I'm Kabuki gonna... here, I just, I just, I just, I just... Die. Walk in and, walk in and die, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get it out of the way. It's going to happen. It's gonna inevitable. Take, yeah, they're going to take the second point. Omni after the Widow once again. We do have a Shatter on the side of JJ Hoop. And Bongo lift as the lift comes out. Gets three Coalescence comes out to try and defend against the lift. This time without the Bongo, it's not enough damage to kill the Coalescence, so they do survive it as they just kind of slowly record. Shatter comes out, it's gonna get two this Bongo is as response. Oh, oh no. this is? Oh, I thought it got two. My bad. They have an Ash now, swapping off of the Widow. Rez comes out for Orcus. But Rick gets killed off on the res. Weedy is just in their backline. Orcus will punish him for that. But the payload's almost there. We have four of the members of the Philadelphia off right on cart, but there is a dynamite on there. Omni is so low. Are they going to heal up? They're going to back off. Smart. Back off, regroup. Payload's almost there. They have about two minutes and 42 seconds. They have time to make this work. They're coming up on grab. Z Guy has been great at building these grabs. And right now, they really only have Window on the side of Boston Frost. As right in a very them. good position right now to win this map. True. It will matter how Boston Frost plays this next few fights. Weedy's gonna do an aggressive teleport and immediately Wraith off. Nice rock onto JJ. The Z guy is in, trying to get charged. Coming up on this grab, we're so close. Definitely gonna have it this fight. Grab is in play. But they have nothing to combo it with yet. We're waiting probably on the dragon. Feet comes out to save the team. As it looks like they're just gonna clean it up without the grab. Grab comes out as soon as Immortality's out and they just win it off of that. As Philadelphia Philly Flight wins. takes a second map and we are officially going to a tiebreaker map. Momentum definitely in Philly's court now. True. They had some, I think they, they did some swaps where they put uh, Weedy off of tank and onto DPS, and I think that helped a lot as Sinister gets a nice play here with that headshot onto Omni, and then headshot on the Widow. Yep. Hell yeah. Nice shot. Let's update the score. Oof. And it's always hard to be in the position. Oops, not zero, it's two. 
where you're the team that feels like you're about to get reverse swept. Like the minds on Boston on. Frost must be a little, gotta be a little shaken. You're doing so well at the beginning. It feels like it's all falling apart around you, but they've had really good comps. Like they've done the double shield extremely well, especially when double shield is not in a strong place, I would say. And they've had really good Widow play from Orcus. They've had really consistent Mercy play from McLaughlin. Really good Moira play. Arviso has been consistent as well. It's just, I think, right now, Weedy and Sinister are falling into a groove. They have Z Guy in on the side of Philly Fright to support JJ Hoop on the Reinhardt with that really good Zarya that was getting pretty consistent grabs. And Omni has just been a very aggressive Lucio. And yes, Ruby King, Deadstock is casting because I sounded sad and whiny before anyone joined me. She always sounds that way, Ruby. Don't let her. It's not just <laughs> not just when she's casting. That's just my personality. <laughs> True. It's not wrong. All right. So I don't know that we're going to see any swaps. Maybe some swaps. It is a, let's see what map type. I think it goes back to control for... Uh, they're going to go to Nepal here. Yeah, control again. Well, here, another another map where Reaper can really cause a lot of havoc. So I think Weedy's liking liking this right now. Yeah, they're reading Philly, Philly Fright's mind, and they're thinking, maybe that's the map they don't want us to pick, so we'll pick that one. But it's just Weedy saying, please pick Nepal, please. <laughs> <laughs> that's all they're hearing. Well, this has actually been a really fun game to cast. It has been. It's been a really good game to watch, too. Yeah. And I, I would go as, as far as to say the best game of the season so far. Two two good teams, two evenly matched teams, putting on a real good show. Yeah. His dab master gets destroyed again by Nightbot. So good to see. Who did that? Who did that? Whoever it's, it is, it's thank night, you. It's Nightbot. You have it. Have oh. you not seen this in the stream? I've, could, I've been seeing I that. Could, Apparently, if I could retitle the stream, it would be the saga of Nightbot and all these little kids whining that they can't spam caps. <laughs> they're like, Nightbot only lets me capitalize three letters, and it's like, I know. And they're like, you should remove Nightbot. You know, you can turn that feature off. And I'm like, I could, I could do that. But I don't care to. <laughs> oh, dude, the more they whine, the more funny this gets to me. <laughs> and poor Bambi, I think she got hit with uh, some shrapnel there. She was trying to say hi, read in all caps and got, <laughs> got herself banned. Unfortunately. That's just a timeout. It doesn't ban. But the more you do it, the more it bans or it times out. It is a robot. It doesn't think more. <laughs> You're the Moira Slave for Philly <laughs> Motion. Yeah, it seems that way. It'd be like that sometimes. But if it's working. It works. How was your day, Deadstock? I didn't get a chance to ask. No, it was pretty boring. Nothing really going on in the world. Just hanging out, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. How was how was yours? Oh, it's just uh, been a day. It's just been a to, day. Did you get to murder any rats today? No, I actually broke oh. a very expensive piece of equipment, so that's why I was home early in time to cast this game. <laughs> so I got to oh, be no. like, hey, I broke uh, one of the optic fiber cables uh, for the fiber photometry rig. So, you know, those experiments I was supposed to do, I can't do them anymore because it's broken. Just imagine uh... some nerd going, oh, no, the fiber photometry rig is now not going to work. Thanks a lot. <laughs> What, what, what exactly is fiber photometry? So that's what I do. So that's the idea of, um, so what I'm doing specifically is I'm doing fiber photometry with D-Late, but you have a fluorescent biosensor. So this is something that binds to a biological molecule, either it's usually calcium, dopamine, norepinephrine, something in the brain that changes with either activity or different stimuli. And what it does when it binds to this biosensor is it causes it to light up and change colors and change intensity and fluorescence. So it will go from nothing to bright green if it's a GFP based uh, sensor. And what fiber photometry is, is essentially you can, have you ever seen those like uh, those fiber optic, like they have like little, they're almost like cheerleader pom poms. Yeah. And so it's like that, but you stick one of those cables in the brain. So the thing about fiber optic cables is they actually will, move light perfectly straight 
from wherever the point of origin is to a different point of origin. So if I stick a fiber optic cable fiber. in a rat in brain a rat. and I'm reading light, light, essentially a change in light in that rat's brain, I can hook the other end of that fiber optic cable up to a computer, have it read how bright or oh. dim it is, and I can use that biosensor to Bio. tell me how much dopamine or calcium or norepinephrine, whatever we're measuring, right. is around my optic fiber. fiber. Yeah, so I really hate that I asked that question. <laughs> So essentially, <laughs> I use uh, I use light to tell me how much of dopamine is in my rat's brain. So it's pretty cool. Fiber photometry is fun. Sounds like it. It's the poor man's uh, microscope imaging. So we used to do calcium imaging in my old lab where you have a whole like tiny, they call it a mini scope because it's a tiny microscope that you implant inside their brains. I actually, you actually showed me that. Yeah, that yeah. was really interesting. The rats running around with the microscope hanging out of their heads. That's a, yeah. or a, or like a, it's, a lens it's into their really brain. It's really cool, but people quickly realize that it's also really fucking complicated to understand what's going on. And so people stepped back and were like, what if we remove? Because with calcium imaging, you can see not just the changes in light, but you can see the individual cells. And instead of getting this whole like population analysis... Uh, you get each individual cell that you're that's in, kind of in your field of view. And that's a lot of information. Meanwhile, fiber photometry is like, in this general area, this is the overall change, which is a lot simpler and easier to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you say so. <laughs> it is. It's a lot easier to deal with. Although it's not as fun. I still will never get over watching those videos. They're super cool to watch. Yeah. And this is why you can't beat HD. We have a team full of mega brains. Except, except yellow. Except, except yellow, yeah. And rodeo. And rodeo. And probably red. I would put red in. Probably. He's like a medium no, red, brain. Red is an Ivy League college. He, he certainly qualifies as mega brain. Although I wonder how sometimes, but I think he still qualifies. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Ivy League is just kind of Ivy League. Like, it depends on the college you get into. But, uh, Anime Saint says, for the next game, we drop a map on purpose to choose the next map. Is that allowed? What? I don't know, Mr. You'd have to ask Mr. Council. I'm guessing throwing in any circumstance is not allowed. Is it, would be, it is frowned upon in this establishment, for sure. Yeah, so, sorry, Anime Saint. You're going to have to play all the map types that I requested. You can't throw now, they, just to be able to pick King's Row. Right. But if they put you on DPS, then, you know, that's that's your own fault and True. we wouldn't be mad at it. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. I don't quite know what we're waiting for here. Do you know that stock? Uh, let me see here in the chat. See if there's anything. Oh, no, no, I, we're I waiting just, for nothing. Here we go. I had to complain and then it went. Traveling to Nepal. I should have known. As we go into our tiebreaker map. I will be shocked if Weedy is not running a Reaper here, and I will be shocked if Boston Frost does not do something to anticipate it. Let's see, what are we running? Well, I won't know for another 10 seconds. <sighs> Nepal's an interesting map. I have mixed feelings about Nepal. I don't love it. I don't think we played very well on it last season either. Like we it's definitely just a, it's, did not. I yeah, it's not my favorite either. Still, I still <laughs> have the sheet where I went through all yes. the maps we played. I should keep track better this season because I can. I didn't. I only did it with games last season because I didn't remember the scrims and I didn't have a mm -hmm. record of the scrims. I should keep track now on if like even in scrims which maps we win and lose. I just know I don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it. I just know I don't like it. I think not my Nepal is actually a very fair map, and that's why it's so One. rough. Because it's got yeah, a lot. It's got a lot of different weird and close points. Like this one is weird and enclosed. Village is weird and enclosed. Sanctum is weird and enclosed. So Ryan's Zara is on both sides. Reapers on both sides. We have a May versus a soldier. Because the soldier's just kind of setting up on that left high ground. Orc is trying to set up a crossfire. Oh, distance. that wall almost got the Ryan. We just have a little bit of a slap fight, but Philadelphia Freight's already on the capture point and is going to get the initial cap unless Boston Frost contests it. And they are going to step onto the point with the Reinhardt just kind of going out there with the Reaper trying to help him out, but 
Omni's gonna get the first pick on a Robo Monkey as this wall's gonna cut me off immediately. Thank you, May. <laughs> as uh, Philadelphia Fright take the first capture point. Although Orcus is getting some percentage on this high ground. Although he is gonna immediately back off when I go to him. So, oh, and Weedy's in hot pursuit, but it's gonna back off when he sees that he ran back to his team. Smart play, Weedy. As we are actually really close to a shatter on the side of Philadelphia Fright. 90 percent four percent but they also have a shattered grab on the side of robo monkey and missing with the coalesce to back it up so it's gonna be a matter of oh, grab comes out coalesce comes out from both sides to support beat comes out to suppress a lot of cues further. and the super and everybody the hitting cue let's go oh my goodness shatter comes back i don't think that gets anyone maywell cuts off the team as it looks like philadelphia bright's just gonna clean it up Oh, so it's such a bad feeling. We've all been there with the May wall. Yeah. I think Philadelphia Fright went from being afraid to press Q to all pressing Q. Oh, yeah. Although they do have two ults. They still do. They have Grav Death Blossom. So let's see. Let's see what the guy is going to do. On decently high charge, too. He's looking at Weedy. Clearly knows this is, this is the play, man. You and I both know what's about to happen here. Does the enemy team know is the real question. Have they been keeping track of ults? Grav comes out. Weedy's gonna go in with the Death Blossom. It's gonna be countered by another Death Blossom. It's only gonna get one. Weedy's is better. But he does finally go down to Orcus on this McCree. As it looks like they are gonna get the Moira. Nice stagger pick. As Philly Fright holds this, getting 80% on this capture point as it's taking up towards 90. And Boston Frost has no ultimates online. They're only close to a beat as Arviso is making a last minute swap to Junkrat. They gotta get there, guys. They gotta they got get there, 7%. and they're, pu they're pushing in to freeze. This is gonna be a really tough fight for Frost. Well, they are pushing in to freeze. But freeze is stunned, but it is gonna come out onto the point. Is it gonna get anyone, although? It is gonna get the Moira. And it is gonna cut off half the team as that wall is in place to prevent them from pushing on. The Coalescence comes out to follow it up. And this McCree is already solo. Nice ice on the part of Sinister, and then Arviso just gets cleaned up as the first segment on Nepal going to go to Philly Fright as JJ Hoops does some celebratory emoting. Well deserved. Very, Very clean. clean round. Yeah. Very clean round by Philly. Zero. Just so hard to push into that May Reaper combo. True. That's why I was probably one of the only combos we ran for a long time. <laughs> or at least on my team. I think back when we were on LA Valley, we're just like, we're just going to run May Reaper and a Reinhardt, and then I was on Anna, and my job was just to make sure nobody died. Easy. <laughs> want Sanctum? Well, I mean, if you want Sanctum, Five, then you should probably four, hope that Boston three, takes this segment. Two, one. Round two. Capture but we have a objective. Sim from Weedy. Interesting. Not bad on this point, if they can get there and set up. It's definitely gonna definitely, it's definitely gonna catch uh, Frost off guard. I think you want to push onto the high ground with the Symmetra. Old did the Symmetra? Where is the Symmetra? Never mind. Weedy's gonna swap onto the Reaper. He thought about it. It was just a quick teleporter to get them there. We have some slap fighting happening. Weedy with the flank. Fire strike. He's gonna wraith out on very low health. Get his healers. Get to him. He's gonna get to him. They're gonna reposition on point. Sinister and Z guy's gonna get picked. Weedy's gonna get another three down on the side of Boston Frost. Because we're just waiting for this poor May. We're gonna try and get out, but we're actually gonna get our Viso instead with that hammer swing. As Omni's gonna clean up Orcus, and the Sari's gonna try and get out with the charge, but Z guy says no. And Omni is playing with fire over here, just peeking at the enemy team. Let's watch some good Lucio play. Omni, a diamond support, I believe, if I recall, peeping at the career profile. Yeah, yes, he was the one who had the great rise from silver. So let's watch, let's watch. I need to work on my Lucio. Let's watch some Lucio play. See, we're pressing that shift key. More and more. Weedy has been spotted. Shatter comes out. It's a good shatter. It gets like four. May does shatter. go down. And it's just going to be clean up from here. Nice shatter by JJ Goose is Omni wants this mercy. I can see it, I can smell it. I'm gonna focus on the Moira instead, but not quite gonna do it. It's gonna rush out of there before the respawns come in. 
And now we have four alts on the side of Philadelphia Fright, where we only have two on the side of Boston Frost, and it could be it's just those portals, but they're close to grab Blizzard. They could have something. The wall comes out to block off their sights from the high ground as they're immediately going to rotate to point. They have to drop the contest, their grab is faster. Blizzard comes out from the enemy team, but the Death Blossom and Coalesce and Dragon are there. And Dragon. As, and Beats as four Qs go into that one Blizzard. That may have been a mistake, but they are really close. It's 90%, so maybe it wasn't. As long as they can prevent Boston Frost from touching it, it looks like the Reaper and the Zarya yeah. are already pushed up really far to try and prevent the contest. This Reinhardt's just stuck in this choke, but it's 97%. It's gonna be close. Someone's got to touch. Can anyone touch? It looks like the Moira's on point, but the Moira's going to get picked. Now it's a Tracer on point coming to contest. The grab comes out and only gets the Lucio and the Reinhardt. They're just going to live through it. Valk comes out to try and support, but the Reinhardt goes down. Now it's just Weedy on point. Sinister gets two picks as the Moira and Mushu is here, but Sinister's off on the side, and it looks like Boston Frost is going to cap this. Not out of it yet. Little too many cues in that last fight, Philly. He almost had it. But it's not over yet. You're at 99%. They only need one more fight win. And they do have a shatter coming up. And JJ has been on fire with these shatters as of late. And the tank is rather empty on the side of Boston Frost. So yeah, he uh, he got his shatter stopped in the last fight there, unfortunately. Bubble down. Shatter is oh, good. Oh, massive. Nice, massive nice, 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 nice. Just clean it up. Two down already. He wants that mercy. He wants that mercy. Fire strike attempt. Now he's got the Moira in front of him and the mercy as they're going to run around behind the point. Mercy's going to go down to the sinister and Sweetie does go down to Missy, but it looks like Boston Frost Coalescence comes out for flavor as the overtime tick goes down. And let's watch as Mushu just keeps them here with the grab to keep them off point as Philadelphia F right will actually reverse sweep Boston Frost. Wow, nice what a comeback job. by Philly. Yeah. Play of the As Weedy steals the play of the game. I bet this is that grab the, from the last map. Yes, it is. Waiting in the wings. He does get spotted. Has to wraith out. Grab comes. Goes back. Good bubble by the Zarya to protect. The Maywall almost fucked him over, but not quite. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> 70% participation from Zika, that's nice. And then 7 or shatter kills and 10 stuns from JJ. Some huge shatters. Really good JJ. tank combo here. As Waffly gets destroyed by Nightbot. Nice to see Nightbots working as intended. <laughs> well, I will update the score right now so that it shows Philly in their victorious state. Because we have a 3 2. Beep, beep, even yellow. I guess yellow is yellow safe from Nightbot. Safe. That's something I didn't intend, perhaps. But it's too late now. He has moderator. Well, excellent play by Philly. And probably the first reverse sweep of the season, huh? Yes, I think so. Nice job, nice job. Well, I'm excited to see what Philly can do when they get... And they're Right now they have a sub in, so they need one support. So if you're a free agent support, maybe hit Weedy up. They're looking for a support. <laughs> and Deadstock found out that he's free from Nightbot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, very nice. <laughs> oh, well. Thanks for joining for the last few maps, Deadstock. I appreciate it. And I don't know. Thanks to Philly Fright and Boston Frost for having a really good game. Exciting to cast. I am going to go eat it's dinner fun. now. <laughs> All right, well, have fun with that. Thanks for having me. It was fun. Yeah. All right. Night, everyone. Bye.